Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another chapter in my playthrough of、uh, Free Bird Games.、Uh, this one is called Finding Paradise, and it is the official sequel to To the Moon. And my playthrough of To the Moon, along with its both minisodes, are up, up and running on my channel.、Uh, at this point, I also recorded the, the playthrough of、uh, A Bird Story, which is. Kind of another Minnesota that takes place in the same universe, but I think it's something to、uh, something like a prequel to this particular game. So this game, I've heard that it's supposed to connect the dots between both、uh, To the Moon and A Bird Story. I'm really excited about that. I have not played this yet. I have I don't know anything about it. This is a 100% blind playthrough, so I expect me to be. Surprised along the way,、uh, I've enjoyed thoroughly enjoyed the stories that have been weaved by Kangao and his amazing these amazing people at Freebird Games, and I am stoked to play this. And、uh, as usual, <laughs> there is no option, so I can't even adjust the sound、uh, here. There, there's been some sound issues to, to, in the playthrough of、uh, To the Moon, and I re I'm really sorry about that. I hope it. Sounds okay here. Anyway, without further ado, this is Finding Paradise. I'm really excited to see. I I think the idea is the the client at this point will be the the same kid from a bird story. I think that's the idea. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, enough yammering. Let's begin. Or. Oh no! <laughs> Not another one. Oh, okay. This time it's Eva on the wheel, and she that that was pretty good. What the f, Eva? Uh, if you didn't know my playstyle, I will be. Kind of voice acting these characters, so prepare to be annoyed. That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critter casualties later. Logic, enlightening. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year, and then I have to eat them for ages. Wait, apples on a Christmas tree, huh? How long after Christmas is this? Don't you dare say it! Don't you mean pineapples? Oh! Yeah, I'm not hungry anymore. And he just spit that out. Ah,、oh, typically nail. What is up with the ending to the minisodes, though? Hey, it's not. Oh, that's gotta be his sister or something. Whoa! Check out this red bike. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we're here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides. We're visiting half-dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry to keep it that way. 
All yours. <laughs> he gotta carry that again. Uh, I wonder if Kang Gao grew up with a sibling. I, I don't know that if that for a fact, but I just feel like there, a lot of the writing in these games are uh, surround a, a tone of siblingship, like growing up with a quarreling brother or something like that. Even the, in, the relationship between Eva and Neo, I mean, there there's more than siblingship between them, but uh, most of the time, at least openly, that's how they behave, like brother and sister. That constantly annoy each other. Let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumber rolls. Sushi. Yeah, no, that's quite a stretch. I agree that <laughs> that's a little bit stretchy. What, what can we do about the bike? Don't touch it. Sheesh, you make it sound as if it were yours. Wait, did he go touch it? Hey, there was an empty spot right here. Why did you park closer? It's only a couple of steps away, sheesh. A couple of small steps for a man, but a giant leap for a Wait, that doesn't work. Mm, no, it doesn't. So, uh, a little bit of heads, heads up. This should go without saying, but... There's probably gonna be some spoiler for To The Moon and, and uh, a birth story. I mean that just comes naturally. So if you haven't, if you if you're not familiar with the story of those games, I highly recommend you. Uh, well, the, my first recommendation is not to watch my videos of those playthroughs; is to seek out those games and to play for yourself. They're super cheap on Steam, and uh, they're also available, I think, on mobile phone and Switch and uh, some every platform out there. So if you if you can get your hands on them, definitely that's the best way to experience those stories, and they are really good stories, especially to the moon. That was one heck of an experience. Um, but if that's not an option, or if you don't, just don't feel like it, that's totally fine. You can also experience those stories on this very channel. You are in the right place. So go seek them out. Uh, they're, they're, I think they're. The, just look for the most uh, recently uploaded videos on my channel and you'll, you'll find them right away. Uh, anyway, here we go. Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. That's so mean. Hey now, what happened here? Oh, this, this girl has got a potato. She, she kicked my teddy into the water. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But Ma said my bonbons are pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. <laughs> that got her crying again. Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Oh, okay. I, I'm actually really curious. Hey. What? Um, huh. Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. I like wimpy teddy bears. Okay, <laughs> Nail, what the jalapeno did you do? What the hell does this mean? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! Now she's happy. You're my hero! No props, kid. In your face! Oh, now she's... <laughs> She's just dragging this out. This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Eva. Oh, I can't wait for you to make some babies. Kinda like a tuna. She's still dancing. 
Well, that's one way to solve the problem. Hey, uh, do you want me to get it back? Leave her be. We got more important stuff to do. That's true, though. So you want me to get your teddy back? I don't care anymore! Wow, kids these days are messed up. Well, at least they are together, I mean. This is a positive spin to everything. Wow, this story just... <laughs> it just started with a bang. Already we got a double homicide. Anything for the mailbox? Nope, there's never anything in the mailbox. Whoa. What the sci-fi... What's this sci-fi bullshit? Hello. Hey there, this is Dr. Rosalie and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, hope you're on time. Silence. Awkward. Um, are you letting us in? Okay. I'll wait outside the door for you. What was that? What was what? Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, if she's got a dying spouse, it's not like we're here to play. Uh, it's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Hmm. All right, maybe it's just me. That's a sensible explanation, but it's never just you. Oh, this guy's Dave. Hello. May I help you with something? We can wait till you set that down. My box carrying comrade. Thanks, bro. You really get me. Men could bound over anything. Like seriously. Can I check out uh, check those boxes? Oh, we got little dialogue bubbles here. That's good. You don't fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? I don't know, that's just kind of a Dave's voice for me. How do you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Come on, I give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. Um, okay. So though this is not the same apartment from a birth story, but I if, if it's the same person, I wouldn't expect him to like live in the same building his whole life. Besides, he's still uh, he was also the top floor in that game, so there's some consistency here. Every time I see you folks, I know another room's about to go empty. At this rate, soon I won't even have a job here anymore. Why are people dying that often? Well, business is good then. Oh hey, there's another elevator here, so which one should I be going to? Oh, pff, that's not an elevator, that was just part of the wall. Duh! Spouses, am I right? Hmm? Always make the job so cumbersome. Depends on a person. Dr. Rosaline, is it? And Dr. Watts, ahem. <clears throat> yes, we're, we're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. So, she, she, there's a eerie sense about her. I don't know. I'm just gonna. Oh shit! You're from Sick Corp. That 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 guy's called Angus. What the hell? Am I really dead? Uh, no. 
Don't lie to me. I just signed up for your services last week. They said you'd come for me when it's time. <laughs> I already told you we're not here for you. No, I, I'm not prepared. I can't die yet. Oh, I know. You're not really here. I'm just seeing things. I just drank too much. Tra la la la. Is that a normal reaction? Let's try knocking on the door again. You're still here. No, this isn't fair. I worked so hard my whole life, and I have to die before I'm even been to Detroit. F this whole shit and fuck you and your sons of bitches. I'm bad at this. I do it again. I just want to mess up with him. You know what? I just realized. There's a medical doctor with you, right? Perhaps, perhaps they could still save me. Maybe if they just put in more effort. I've got some money. Tell them I'll pay. Tell them I'll pay anything. Go, go to the real world and tell them to save me, please. It's not too late. Dude, th this guy's messed up. You again? No, no need to speak. I know what you're going to say. If there were ways to save me, they would have done it already. There's no hope for me. What good are fake memories when I have no future? What good is anything, really? Just leave me, dog. I I'm already dead. Shit. Are we ever gonna explain this to him? Like, I don't want him to do anything really dangerous. You know what? I've thought it through. Everybody dies someday. For me, today is as good a day as any. And with you here, you can make my dreams come true. So today's actually my lucky day. So go ahead, fulfill my wish. Bring Disco back and make me its king. We already told you, you're not dying. You're not our patient and we're not here for you. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wow. I'm gonna make a note to assign someone else to this guy. <laughs> that was awesome, but no. So his biggest wish is to be the disco king. That's uh, that's not a bad one. I just don't know what would what would they do to make that come true. Like th their whole notion is to give people the initial drive, right? And and make uh, uh, maintain the intensity of the drive for their entire life. They explain this into the moon, but things like being a singer, a painter, that takes natural talent, right? That, that takes the kind of talent that most people just aren't born with. And no matter how intense the drive is, it's just not going to get there. I mean, you could probably be a really good painter or a really good pianist or a really good dancer if you really want to, but like if you want to be the king of disco if you want to reach the best of the best the kind of level like michael jackson uh that's uh that's something that's that has to be a perfect combination of both effort and talent so i don't know how that works i think they have to manually re-engineer the person's initial genes or something I, i'm overthinking this let me just try this door again this is too too awesome Oh, that guy is never coming out. We have destroyed a person. We have ruined like two people's lives on the way here, so that's pretty great. The job hasn't even started yet. N nope, nothing here. We can talk inside. Colin's waiting. She is reserved. Okay, act one. Tell me, what do you want to change? Now that's easy enough. I missed pretty much all of the uh, subtitles of the acts into the moon just because I didn't understand them. So I'm gonna particularly try to remember them this time. Huh, this is a quaint place you've got. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Uh. Okay.
right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. Well, tell you what, Nail, we are going on a tour. Hey, I have an idea. Let's meet the patient first before rampaging through his property. Gee, when did you become so noble? Okay, it doesn't let me, so I might as well just go ahead and follow her. Oh, that's Sophia and uh, I'm guessing Colin. Nice TV you've got here. This guy's called Asher. You must be here for my father. So is it the guy, is it the little boy from a bird story? I mean, it would make sense. This guy seems to be a pilot. And the kid really liked making paper planes and he's befriending, befriending a bird. That experience could probably drive him to become a great pilot. This is actually making sense. You are the patient's son? Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get it set up first? That box looks heavy. See? He gets it. I'm gonna talk to you again. Why don't you get set up on the table first? I mean, th those chairs are definitely for us. Are you guys ready to get settled? Uh, well, we can look around them, but why not? Yeah, just give us a moment. It's not gonna start right away. I'll have my chance to explore. Is it really that important to close to shut the window? Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions. Nope, nothing's happening. Huh, I guess we got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands, we do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So, you two are for real? What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish. We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed, because... It would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's, that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? <laughs> okay, we just discredited ourselves. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope, guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's pulling up anyway. Um... Last time I chose uh, Eva to wander around, so I'm gonna choose Nail this time. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spark to the side. I'd rather play Logic. You forgot it, so you get it. So you go get it. The end. Well played, Spark. <laughs> Guys like Dr. Watts just cannot lose. Whoa, is it the same medical officer? I mean, the same doctor shit why did I say medical officer did I did I just get trapped into this Star Trek logic and just fuck what, what is happening to me I've updated the system it's practically configuring itself now good that'll save some time 
Already down to business, huh? Hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but their rosters were full at the time, so we heroically volunteered. Turned out they got nothing to do today, though. Hmm, I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check on the patient. It is the same. It is the same lady. That's pretty nice. Familiar face, isn't it? Don't you have to go get something before we can get started? Don't worry. I'll be back before you realize that I shouldn't have forgotten it in the first place. But seriously, my apologies. What are you waiting for? Go get the papers from the car already. What's the hurry? Free someone to steal your apples? Meh, you're almost rotten anyway. Hey, just come and get the patient monitor before you go. Oh yeah, there's that whole deal. Here, this should help. Received remote patient monitor. Um, okay. Trust the little wireless thing, just hope it doesn't give me tumors. Well, you might as well work on your final wish. Then age the digital piano. I should leave the browsing to Eva. She'll have time. She'll have time while I get to the car. Is that possible? A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. So, uh, music guy. Lots of instruments here. What do we have here? Oh, the bathroom. There's another door outside of the bathroom. Ooh, Eva's gonna love this. What? What are you doing? Hello? Code 32, Eva. Code 32. Rectify it. Nah, I don't wanna. Back that bit, I'll be right there. What's going on? It's called a toilet paper dispenser for a reason. How hard was that? And you, shame on you for abusing my OCD. <laughs> oh god. Eh, she could have used the exercise. <laughs> oh man. This is really nice to know a little bit more about them each and every time we meet them. Just. But but seriously, this is a great way to just tell us exactly how familiar these guys have become to each other. I mean, the the kind of she got a the way she handles her toilet paper. I mean, how do you even know somebody's hobby uh, habit of uh, handling toilet paper? I mean, how many ex common experiences do you gotta have to to be able to get to that? Might as well go get the car first. Eva will be able to check this place out when she's ready. Mm, okay, if you say so. You better give me a chance to explore though. Don't screw me up. Switch between characters? Oh hell yeah! Neo wasn't kidding, this thing really is configuring itself. It does that now? Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I can... I get some time to snoop around the house. Cool, in the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I should get someone to show me around. Uh, okay. I think Sophia's a... Uh, not in the welcoming mood right now, so I'm gonna hook up to her to the patient's son here. Anything I could help with, Doc? Uh, about Colin? Mind telling me a bit about your father before we get into his head? 
Well, he's a retired airline pilot and quite a people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up, and always made time for us. Although more recently, but recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague com comes back? Maybe that'll help. It would, thank you. Hmm. I should to join the party. Uh, let me take a look at the notes here. Colin used to work for the airlines as a commercial pilot. Right, and also we get to save. Always save. Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. And ours too. Yes? Do you mind telling me about your husband? Why? Won't you be going to his head to see for yourself? That, well, more background and the perspectives could always help. I don't know what I could tell you that you won't be able to see. Hmm. I, I'm, let's see if we can get some more information here. This is my mother's old keyboard. She's used to allow me to sleep playing it back in the days. Intentionally, I hope. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. Also your mother's or... No, this is my father's. He played it a lot back in the day. But not anymore, it seems. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales though, it's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Uh, check on the notes a little bit. Age the cello, Colin plays the cello apparently not well though. That's okay, you don't, you don't have to play the instrument well to enjoy it. Oh, he didn't follow me into the bathroom, what a gentleman. So, I guess we can comment on the flower. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Oh, it must be hard work growing tropical plants all the way out here. I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of a family tradition. Everything is a note. Uh, the hibiscus. The family kept a pot of hibiscus around the house. Did we have that in, uh, in the birth story? I don't remember. Is that your parents? I thought they were going to comment on the TV. Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. Nah, that is just really sweet. Oh, look at that. Uh. I, I will always wanted to talk about the little plane. A model of a small fixed wing aircraft. Huh, is this your dad's? It sure is. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Right. I think it's time we check upstairs. Finally. Any comment on. Nope, no comment on the pictures. Just. I haven't seen many apartments with multiple floors. Most of this floor is from maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. Huh. Seems like they missed one. I think I recognize the book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. What is it? Yeah, it's sealed up. He doesn't want anybody reading it, huh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy's sake. But it did sign up to become your client, so... I don't know. Ah, Decisions. I, I really want to know. Let's unseal it. There is a chance that it helped the mission. Please be worth it. There's nothing in this. Huh? 
It's nothing but stacks of empty pages glued to the spine. They are all wrinkled too. That's odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded. Oh, I just had a theory, but I don't want to talk about it. These aren't receipts, but I guess it's possible. Either way, there's not much I can do with this. Let's keep moving. Okay, we we received more notes about the Green Book. Ah, the Green Book. Really good movie, though. It's filled with blank pages. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. 